Welcome to the South Florida Eat and Critique Show with host Steve-O and Renee. Get ready to hear which South Florida restaurants serve the best seafood, Italian, Mexican, steak, and sushi. Who offers the best service, best portions, and atmosphere? Share your dining experiences with Steve-O and Renee each week while they share their dining experiences with you. Steve-O has written for the food and restaurant sections of the Boca Raton newspaper, Boca Raton Life, and the Parklander magazines, and is no stranger to radio. He has written a cookbook for adults and children, too. Steve-O is a graduate of the prestigious Cooper Clinic for Nutrition and Fitness, and he graduated from the Florida Culinary Institute. Renee is the president of communications and marketing for one of the top marketing companies in Florida, MBAs Inc. Now, here's Steve-O and Renee. Well, we're here with two, I would call great friends of the show. You think? Uh, yeah, Best I think. Best friends of the show. So we want to introduce you right now to John Rosati, the owner of Vic and Angelo's Delray, the owner of Vic and Angelo's Palm Beach Gardens, and He's the got this office. incredible franchise. Wait a second, the office? Well, I'm getting to this. Oh, okay, just helping you along. Well, I was just, we were talking <laughs> Coral Springs. I'm thinking Burger Fi, which we which love. I do, we do love that place. And then, all, and we have Dawn here, who was actually with us yesterday. She was. For this incredible event that we said to you, we said, this is so amazing how Vic and Angelos gives back. Absolutely. We see all kind of restaurants. Not everybody does that. Well, they should. They that's should. Right. You're right. So that's what makes Vic and Angelo so special, along with the fact that their food is phenomenal. Well, thank you very so, much. And I'm not just saying that. Okay. I, I just want to tell John. And, wait a second. Can I just say one thing? <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt. But I found out something yesterday about the meatball. Because I keep saying about oh, this Oh, yeah. Meatball. I love your meatball. Okay? And I said this is my favorite meatball I've ever had in any restaurant. And I found out that it was from your mother's recipe. It's my mom's recipe. Yes. So... Are all the recipes from your mother, or some of them? Uh, most the of them. They are. Most of them are, are you know, growing up Italian. Everything tastes like my mother makes it. So I make sure if we, we kept working on it until we we got it to where it tasted like my mom's cooking. So like home for I him. Wish I, would, I wish I was invited to his mother's house. I know. <laughs> and bread too. You. Oh. Oh my God, You're he's crazy bread. about the bread. Oh, isn't it the best? We love it. And, and, and Dawn, I, because I'm from Texas, too, we were talking about some of the, the Italian New York, restaurants. New York, <laughs> gives you yes. can't hear it. But right. What I wanted to tell you, this is an amazing, I would say, journey for us that you have been part of. Renee and I had this vision that we got tired of reading places on the internet, this restaurant is wonderful, You, I mean the best, and, and we go there and it really wasn't that good. And I'm a chef, I've, I, read, I used to write a lot of articles for magazines, Renee is a huge president of a marketing company, we said we can do this better. Absolutely. And, and we I started, think we have. We've we started the show about eight months ago, and we met your PR, Sharon Levinson. Oh, she's who has great. been, she's, she's incredible. She and really what's is. really amazing is we couldn't get anybody to even answer the phone. That's right. And Sharon said, we want to do this. And I look back, because now we've got to, we actually literally have to turn restaurants down. But, we're inundated now, which is but what so was, great for us. We were lucky yeah. because we got what we feel like is like one of the finest Italian restaurants in all of South Florida. Absolutely. And that was not, I mean, that's difficult to be that accurate. And it's, we even have people tell us, man, you talk about Vic and Angelo's all the time. Like I was telling you the other day, my father said that to me. He goes, it's all I hear about is Vic and Angelo's, Vic and Angelo's. So I told him, I said, listen, I saw John Rosati, the owner of Vic and Angelo's, and he personally invited you to come to his restaurant. He goes, oh, so now he's really happy about that. Oh, I'd love to have him. Yeah, he's from Brooklyn, too. He's and then we guy. went to the office for one of the best burgers I've ever had. You all actually won our burger, best burger for Palm Beach County. And best pizza for Palm Beach County. And the best County. pizza for Palm Beach County. Oh, thank you. So you just got an incredible and this operation. And this is not from us, this is from yeah. our listeners, from people that voted. You know, and, and like we were talking about um, yesterday, it's not just in Florida, you know, since a lot of people do travel and live up north and then come down here and vice versa. 
you can't find a restaurant with this kind of quality of food, and you just know it, and, and you always will come back to it because there's no other place. That's that's right. I come back here every day. <laughs> but what yeah. I want to know is, what is your secret? What's been the secret for your success? <laughs> his, mother, his mother's recipes. It's his mother's <laughs> recipes. Dawn, mother's yeah. recipes. Combination, I'll give you that too. Loving Italian food and, you know, uh, being brought up uh, in an Italian family, it's, that's all we, on Sunday it was like a big event to eat, and we eat from 2 o'clock in the afternoon till 7 o'clock at night, so um, we, we just, I'm a foodie, I love food, I love you have a passion. I love, I love force feeding people. I love yeah. that. Well, that's a, that's a Jewish Italian thing. Oh, you're getting me in. Are you getting me in trouble? Thing, yeah. Thanks, John. I'm in total <laughs> trouble now. But the operation too. It's not just how great your food is. It's the operation because Renee and I watch. We watch service, service everything, everything, how people are treated. And your and restaurant has it all. It really does. And that's, what, that's what we expect. You know as we want it to be as comfortable for us as it is for anybody else who walks through the door. And that's what it's You family. feel like you're at home. Yes, see, and that's exactly what we enjoy. Exactly. And it's both locations. I mean, they're equally as phenomenal, really. And we eat in our restaurants daily, and uh, we us watch too. everything. <laughs> you know, and we're, we're like particular about everything in the restaurant and we and uh, we try to hire the best managers, best service. We do have a great crew. You really do. And they a lot of them been with us for a lot of years, so we have longevity. We treat them good, they treat us good, and, and our customers are, are always number one in our, on our list. That's why he's still... You could tell. Because there's, it's sad because restaurants have gone out of business. Oh, yeah. And it's, you know, it, and here you are Packed every night. Yes. Parties going on. Her birthday. Uh, anniversary. Especially in Del Rey. I mean, I we know. walk in there. It's just crazy there. Yeah. And we love it like that. Well, that, that rest, both of these restaurants were out of business when we took them. And, wow. And, and, and you built them up. Seven or eight years ago, yes. Were they Vic and Angela's? No. no. no they were so you with, came up with this name. How? So how did you decide to go into the restaurant business? Um, tired of waiting on lines. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to get in a restaurant, you know, and and not being happy with the food in all the restaurants. There are, there are good restaurants down here, and being from Brooklyn and New York, right. you know, you're... You're accustomed to the best. The best, and, right. and we, we brought, we feel like we brought New York... Well, you did. ...to Palm Beach. <laughs> and, we and, and, right, yeah. and we cook with New York oil. I know, you know the pizza's know. with New York oil. Yeah, pizza, the pasta. Right. All our breads and all that stuff is made with New York oil. Listen, now I can say all the good things are from New York. Right. That's all I'm going to say. I'll let you get away with that. <laughs> okay. Thank you, especially since John's sitting next to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I want to talk meat, about the burger fight I know. I was like, then there's the meat. Then there's the hamburgers. I know. That's like... All grass-fed. Burger Fry is your baby, kind of. Yes, yes. Um, How many locations do you have now? We have open, we have 30, and we have sold 200. Wow. wow. We have probably 25 or 30 uh, in construction right now. Wow. And it's... I love the... The stamp, the, the branding. Stamp. It's the a branding. Branding, yes. Well, the office says that as well. The office, too. Yeah, I love we, that. We started it in the office. Actually, the office was the start of the burger, the, the quick service burger. Uh, I just yeah. love the whole office menu. You know, it's all like staples and all things from like a, a regular office. Yeah. I and mean, it's really unusual. It's unique. We were love actually out concept. there last week. Just, I mean, they were the only ones that had a lot of people in we the freak, restaurant. Let me tell you, we freak with right. your restaurants a lot. We did. They're doing great. Yeah. 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 So, uh, what do you? What's your vision with the franchises? Just keep selling. Um, keep building and selling. We're gonna have uh, probably fifty. 50 open by December wow. 31st. That's wonderful. And probably another 75 or 80 next year will open. Um, we're actually uh, doing a, a, the uh, uh, Dubai. We have mm -hmm. we sold the Emirates. Wow! Wow! 30 stores there. That's we're, impressive. We're, we're Very good. I thought Padre was cool. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Padre Island. Uh, That's he just wants to go down to Padre. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> wow! Actually, the, the business really. We started it with friends and family. We, we your you sons know, work son, with you too. My son's a franchisee. He works works with us on all our computers. That's great. Um, and just a bunch of friends and family. Actually, we have about 50 franchise franchisees right now, and probably 25 of them are good friends. 
When do you sleep? Hey, that's, uh, when do you sleep? Do we sleep? <laughs> we don't sleep either. We understand. We get it. I have. I'm up all night. I'm up and down all night. I'm always thinking about. So is he? But you know what he's doing? He's getting leftovers from the refrigerator from Vic and Angela's. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I heard him say, "Box it up, right?" <laughs> well, listen. What you've done is absolutely incredible. It really is. Um, it's funny because we tell people you can become an advertiser like you have. But your food better be great because that's all. Well, we don't take anybody. We won't even take money from an advertiser. We won't sponsor anybody unless we're really impressed by the restaurant. And it's got to be really. Because when we started this, we said it's not about the money, although we'd like to make no, some. Yeah, but, but we just we said it's about our integrity. Our exactly our reputation. Yeah, that's so. great. And I want to share something with you too. That okay. We get about 150 emails a week now. Just. Where should we go to eat? We have friends coming in town. Or about Vic and Angelo's. Vic and Angelo's is an additional 50 more emails. So we get a total of 200 a week. 50, 50, sometimes 60 emails on Vic and Angelo. We got another 30 or 40 on the office. But we have never had one. And we do get some ones that aren't so happy. But we've never gotten one. Not one bad thing. No negative one has comment nothing. about Vic and Angelo's. We changed our reservations tonight and changed them over to Vic and Angelo's. We have friends coming in. They, we blew them away with right. Vic and Angelo's. But they also say the service was really good, not just the food. So to have everything, I mean, we are, I know Renee and I feel so blessed to be part of this. Absolutely. Wow, thank you very much. We do. And we're always trying to improve, always doing tastings and and trying new things. And uh, But we have our basic men uh, menu that we stick with, the Italian food and um, style. but we're always trying to, you know, make different things for different people. We we tell people everything, just can throw I tell you something? There's the not menu. one thing on your menu that I don't love. Just so. close your eyes, throw I a dart tell, wherever it lands. Just bring me something out and I'm happy. Oh, that's great. And the last thing we want to tell them is what we tell everybody. I know the other, other oh, restaurants. Oh, I always say this, this is my line all the time, before you die, you have to go to Vic and Angela's. I always tell people, put it on your bucket list. Oh, that's great. So it's the only, I mean, and we get complaints sometimes from, from, some, of the, well, from <laughs> some of the other restaurants that, why did they get yeah. so much? But I mean, right. we just have a great passion. There I go. I just dropped it again. Um, oh. I don't even know if I'm even still on. You still hear me? Still on. Okay. But <laughs> we. Hopefully cut that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you so much. Anything. We, we just, like I said, we're so blessed to be part of this and we just want to grow with you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys really. We really today. appreciate you guys thank you. Thank you. You know, letting us, you know, letting us be part of it. He's done it all. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank